Hi there, YouTubers. Uh, those of you that follow the channel know that I ordered something a few days ago, and it came in the mail today. And we're gonna take this knife right here. We're gonna cut this package open, and I'm gonna show you what's inside. Right there, is it upside down? It's not upside down. There's the cool pad, and there's nothing else in the package, so that's all we need. This right here is, man, that's sealed and everything. Come on, come on. All right, so I got the package open. Let's open it up. And there it is. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not familiar with uh, any of my previous videos, this is the cool pad surf. It's uh, got a sprint service. And this is a new product from uh, NetBuddy that is supposed to be $20 a month unlimited, uncapped, unthrottled internet. And I'm gonna use this for however long it takes. I'm gonna test it out and see if it, uh, if it uh, is actually living up to the expectations that uh, it's supposed to. I'm gonna take this inside, I'm gonna charge it real quick, and then we're gonna dive into it a little bit more and we're gonna see how good it works. Okay, so that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, this device was actually fully charged uh, when I got into it. Um, everything was sealed in here, which is good. You know, just, <clears throat> just so you guys know, um, ordered this from NetBuddy. I figured I'd be getting like a refurbished device or something like that, but everything was sealed in here. Uh, the battery was separated, you know, in its own package. Uh, it comes with a charger, you know, pretty much everything that you need. Um, this is the device right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that it's all lit up already, but uh, it was basically ready to go. As soon as I took it out of the package, all I had to do was use the password that's in the back of the device and uh, sign in and I had internet access immediately. Um, I took it around the house, I tried it out a little bit, and this little device is, I mean, it's so small that it does depend very significantly. Your service is going to depend on where you place the device in your house. And the, the best placement for me happened to be the front of my house, but my Sprint Tower is over there, so that makes perfect sense. Put it on that side of the house so there's less, uh, less stuff in the way. But uh, that, yeah, like I said, it's a tiny device, so placement matters a lot. However, you can take the SIM card out of this and you can put it into like a MoFi router or something and get to probably way better signal. Um, let's do some speed tests real quick and uh, see what kind of speed I'm getting with it. Okay, so here I am at the front of my house and uh, I have it set up pretty much where I want to set it up um, in a central area so that way all of my devices are getting service in the house. Let's start a test. Um, I went to speakeasy because I got a lot about uh, using uh, Google to test my speed. So. Let's do it on uh, speakeasy.net and see what kind of speed tests I'm getting. Point six. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so it looks like 9.7 megabits per second download speed. Let's see what my upload speed is. And I'm pretty sure as soon as I do this speed test and complete it, it's going to shoot me right down to an ad. Of course, let's go back up here. Your speed results. So 9.7 megabits per second download, 6.7 megabits per second upload. That's not really that great. And compared to the AT&T service, um, I mean, this is pretty dismal because my AT&T service is getting me, you know, high 20s, mid 30s. And uh, my, my upload speed is, you know, high teens. So this was a little... Not quite what I expected, but then again, it is Sprint, so what was I thinking? Uh, let's run another test real quick. Um, I'm going to move the device. Let's see how much it changes my speed. I move the device six inches, and we're going to test again real quick and see what I get. See, I'm telling you, I really think that the placement of this device just is so crucial because it's so tiny. But uh, look at that. I'm already jumping right up there over what I just was connected at. unless it drops back down. Nope. All right, so we got 14.1 download. Let's see what our upload speed is. Ooh, I don't like that. There we go, keep going, keep going. 
Nah, it looks like it's gonna stall out right around there. Yep. Okay, so moving the device just a couple of inches uh, increased my download speed, but it decreased my upload speed. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. I uh, ran a couple of speed tests. It looks like we're gonna get somewhere in the vicinity of you know, 10, 11, 12 uh, megabits per second download and maybe five or six uh, megabits per second upload. I'm gonna try this service out, um, like I said, for at least a month. Um, might even keep it, just depends on how well it powers all my household devices. Now, whether or not this is gonna be a service that's good for you is gonna be um, really determined by what you're using it for. Uh, simple online stuff, maybe watching some YouTube videos, things like that should be no hassle. I should be able to game, you know, like while my girlfriend does that. But outside of that, you know, trying to power like sometimes, you know, four and five devices at a time like we do, we'll probably experience some slowdown. I don't, I'm really not, you know, for sure whether or not that's going to happen. I do want to note something. Uh, when I first opened up this device, it was actually around two o'clock and uh, it's almost five o'clock now. So people are getting off work and what I'm going to speculate is that right now the tower is probably experiencing high congestion and because of that my you know my signal strength is coming down so because and what i'm trying to say is when i first tested it at two o'clock i was getting uh, download speeds of like you know 23 and 26 and 28 you know when i when i was testing then and now that we're at a time where a lot of people are on their phones and you know calling home and family i might be experiencing some congestion that's decreasing my speed that's just speculation, I don't know for sure, but uh, it sounds good to me. So yeah, I'm gonna update you guys uh, You know, in a month. I'm gonna let you know how the service has been working out for us. We're gonna turn off our AT&T uh, through NetBuddy and just run our house exclusively off of this. And I'm gonna see if it has what it takes to, you know, for me to game and for her to, you know, like watch Law & Order SVU, streaming on the Roku and playing on her computer and watching YouTube videos. She likes to grassy, if you guys have ever heard of that. But we usually, we, we put a lot on our internet. You know, we're always running stuff, constantly streaming, gaming. So uh, putting this to the test, I'm skeptical. I don't think it's gonna work out for us, but maybe it will. And like I said, if you live somewhere where you don't have really great internet service or, you know, just uh, your provider sucks, what, what have you, if, if you're not using like a ton of internet, uh, this is probably well worth it for you. Uh, 20 bucks a month is the breakdown. If you haven't seen the video that I posted right before this, uh, that's the video where I talk about what the service is. So I provided at the beginning of the video a card you can click on the top and I'm going to provide one right here as well. I don't know which side of the screen it's going to be on. So um, yeah, you can check that card out and check out the first video so you can get a breakdown of what the actual cost of this is. And that way you can kind of gauge whether or not it's something that's for you. So that's what I got for you for now. I'm going to give this a try and that's totally illegal man, but go for it. And we'll see how it works out and I'll update you guys soon. Thank you very much.